So we stopped we stopped in ion imbalance as a one of the five mechanisms of, of self uh, damage. That, uh, as I said, that uh, the consequences will be ion imbalance. So sodium as a salt with water will go inside cell and swim. Uh, potassium will be inside uh, outside cell will go outside and uh, will causing hyperkalemia hyperkalemia dangerous in case of uh, cardiac arrest and calcium will enter inside cell it will be high inside cells so what the consequences if calcium will be high inside cells uh, I said that calcium we need calcium for secondary messenger we need calcium for energy synthesis as accumulation in the mitochondria. So, what will happen? What will happen of? Uh, what will happen if the calcium will be high inside cells? First, it will causing hyperactivation of, of phospholipase. As we said, the calcium if calcium high inside cell, it will it will hyperactivate uh, phospholipase and will cause cell damage. First, second, it will activate uh, it will activate energy synthesis, but it will be hyperactivation. So the mitochondria will doing or synthesis a lot of ATP, but our organelles cannot use. So, so this ATP will lose as a heat, as a sweet. Uh, third consequences is uh, contractions. Contractions if calcium will be inside our muscle cells, febrile contractions causing convulsions in our muscles, convulsions. And the last one is uh, decreased of adrenoreactivity of the cell. So the cell cannot be response for signals, for example, for adrenaline. These uh, four consequences or four main consequences of increasing of calcium inside cells. Uh, next mechanism is genetic apparatus disorders or damaged. In this case, uh, uh, the causes are heredity, heredity, genetic or chromosomal disorders or genoma disorders, uh, uh, mutations, neoplasia, and viruses, viruses infection. Well, because viruses causing damage inside DNA of cells. The last one is neurohumeral disorders. If the cell will not have signals from neurons or hormones uh, from the body, this cell could be damaged. Why? Because I said that neuro and humeral reg uh, regulation, they regulate uh, trophic and plastic processes inside cell. Again, Neuro and humoral regulation, they regulate traffic, traffic, and plastic processes inside cells. So, if neuro humoral regulation will be absent, the cell will be damaged. We improve this in the experiment on the rabbit. We cut a sciatic nerve, and on the skin, on the skin, uh, appear atrophic ulcers. So where is the where is the relation between ischemic ischemic nerve and ulcers on the skin? The relation is absence of neurohumoral regulation. So last one, what I wanted to say about this topic. In case of uh, if the cell will be damaged, what what is the compensatory reactions? Co compensatory reactions. How the cell will be reacted and how it will compensate itself. First, it will be uh, try to do energy, but sorry, in other case, it will activate anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration, in this case, it will be compensatory. Uh, amount of energy will be needed for protection. Next, uh, Will, uh, it will decrease on activation cell it will decrease its ac uh, activation its activity it will decrease its activity why? 
to keep energy to protect. So the cell will not be active in case in the, in case in injury. Next, it will uh, synthesize some of products substances which can uh, protect. For example, interferons, something like these substances. It will, it will uh, work uh, to prevent damage or cause factors. Uh, it will try to activate ion pumps to keep the balance uh, between uh, between ions and water. Uh, it will try to repair genetic program. Repair genetic program. It means it try trying to repair any damage in DNA in case of uh, in case if the genetic apparatus is disordered. It will try to repair uh, during activation of repair uh, uh, genes. And finally, uh, it will try to activate receptors. Try to activate or expire some of receptors to have any regulatory signals from the uh, outer sphere. Outer sphere. This is, uh, it was the uh, topic about cell injury. This topic is important, why? Because the basic of any diseases, it started with cell injury. Cell injury, for example, myocardial infarction, it's cell injury, it's injury of cardiomyocytes. Gastritis, injury of endothelial cells of mucous membrane, and so on. Uh, I think that it is enough for me and thank you for your attention and I'm sorry if my English is something weak.